Hola niños, ¿cómo están? Today's letter is the letter M. M. The letter M is pronounced just like the letter M in English. It says M. So let's look at some words that begin with la letra M. First we have a butterfly. In Spanish we call this a mariposa. Mariposa. Next, we have a table. You should already know this word. The word for table is mesa. Mesa. Next, we have an apple. An apple is called a manzana. Manzana. And last, we have a map. The word for map is mapa. Mapa. It's a cognate a word that sounds the same in both Spanish and English. Now let's look at some places that begin with the letter M. First we have the country of Mexico. Mexico. Mexico is really close by to the United States. It borders the southern half of our country and it is the largest Spanish-speaking country in the world. 100 million people live in the city of in the country of Mexico. And one out of the three people that live in Mexico live in the capital city, which is Mexico City. Mexico City is one of the biggest cities in the world, with about 33 million people living there. The flag of Mexico tells the story of its history. There's an eagle eating a snake sitting on a cactus, which is on a rock, in the middle of a lake. Because a long time ago, the Mexican people didn't have a home city and they wanted to build one. So they asked their gods where should they build their city. And the gods told them, build your city when you see an eagle eating a snake sitting on a cactus. Unfortunately, that cactus was on a rock and the rock was in a lake. But the people built their city there anyway. And today that city is Mexico City. Here's what Mexico City looks like today. You can see that there's not much lake left. They filled in that whole big lake and made it a one big enormous city today. Next, let's talk about Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is an ancient city in Peru. It's way on the top of a mountain, and people didn't even know it was there until very, very recently. Someone was climbing the mountains in Peru and just happened to stumble upon this ancient city. It's very, very well built. Even though it was built hundreds of years ago, up so high in the mountains. It's so amazingly well built that we're not even sure how they could have done it and how the people could have survived living so high up in the mountains. It's a pretty incredible place called Machu Picchu in Peru. Another place we could visit is Madrid. Madrid is the capital of Spain. It's a big city and it's both old and new. Because it's the capital of Spain, all of the government buildings are there. And Spain has a king and queen. So this is where they live, in the royal palace of Madrid. Here's what the city looks like. You can tell that some of the buildings are very, very modern and new, and some of the things are very old. It's a big city with a lot of mixture between old and new. When we talk about the letter M, we're going to be talking about a mapa, a mapa, and we're going to learn how to give directions. It's important to give directions in Spanish because if you ever visit a Spanish-speaking country, you might need to tell a taxi driver or a bus driver where you would like to go. Or maybe somebody else might be giving you directions so that you could go visit a cool place like Madrid or Machu Picchu. So when we give directions, we use words like this. A la izquierda, a la derecha, and derecho. So keep practicing all of those words, and we'll see you next time. Adios, amigos.